The Mad Lord. Lord Bryant Brigstock was an eccentric man of privilege. His brother Dalton had been killed in a duel. Lord Bryant was convinced he could bring his brother back. He spent many hours in the library studying the dark arts, searching for a way to bring his brother Dalton back to the land of the living. He found a book that suggested that a pure act of human sacrifice could bring his brother back. In a misguided act of loyalty to his dear brother, Lord Bryant slit his wrists under a full moon, screaming incantations to the night sky. The spell did not work. Lord Bryant's anguished cries can still be heard in the home's library on nights when the moon is particularly full. Cemeteries, they are a place of rest, so peaceful and beautiful. Oh, I longed to lay there and be still forever. My plan didn't work out so well as you can see. I'm forever awakened every year to judge this blasted contest. When will it end? When will I be at peace? The best I get is exploring the glorious visions of these mortal minds. I spend many nights in the cemetery. That is where uh, my death occurred and where I have chosen to remain since. I remember all too much. Being a ghost doesn't really help. I don't like to remember my life. I'd rather be lying still in a cemetery. Cemeteries. The semi-finalists for the cemeteries category are Temperance by Janelle R. Lind of Seattle, Washington. Midnight in the Graveyard by James Christopher Hill of Charleston, South Carolina. Bird Girl by Ken Meyer Jr. of Orange, California. Cult by Ken Meyer Jr. of Orange, California. And Zombie 2 by Dan Moran of Montpelier, Vermont. The judges have decided that third place goes to James Christopher Hill for his piece, Midnight in the Graveyard. The second place winner, Janelle R. Lind for her piece, Temperance. And the cemetery's category first place finalist is Ken Meyer Jr. for the work Bird Girl. <laughs>